Today is Big John's last day in the tree business. He's gonna go fly planes for a living for at least 18 months. Anyhow, it was nice working with him while we had him around. On his last day here, I just came up with a little technique. We were gonna use this as a control line and lower with this piece out of an adjacent tree. Uh, we have the GRCS set up on here. This is not the tree that's being removed. The tree that's being removed is this oak behind me, leaning right up over the house. So rather than lower pieces out, Big John has decided he'd rather notch them and pull them into this area right behind me. There is a slight question mark in my mind since these, two, these pieces have a little bow to them. If they hit just wrong, they could bounce and hit the house. The shape of the limbs that were falling wouldn't have been such an issue if there wasn't a hill. That yellow line is right at the top of the hill. You can see my hard hat is level with the gutter there. So there was a hill that fairly radically dropped off. My concern was that any pieces that hit the edge of that hill, especially if they had a little bow to them, would bounce radically and could hit the house. So what we're doing is we're tying off the control. We're going to put a second line on. Instead of lowering from it, it's just going to be a control line. So that basically I set it up before he pulls it up. I set it up so that we'll just, we'll just leave a big belly in the line, but when the piece comes down, there'll be tension on this rope here. It'll be tied off and it won't allow the piece to bounce and hit the house. So that's kind of cool. Uh, just an idea I just thought of just here and now. It's an extra safety precaution. And I hope you guys enjoy watching because here we go. So the idea here is to have enough slack in this line, which was supposed to originally be a lowering line, but then got changed out to a system I'm calling a belly control line. Similar to a vertical speed line in that all the system is designed to do is to control the piece after it hits the ground. And rather than having all that hardware attached and, and lines attached to the tree that's being rigged, if there's an adjacent tree like this, we're able to set a rope up in. We simply put enough wraps on one end of the rope to keep it from moving much, and the other end of the rope, as you can see, has a, a, a belly or a loop in there. Adjusting the amount of the rope in the system is fairly easy. The idea is to allow the ground to take the force of the piece. You don't want that big, heavy piece falling all out that distance and then loading your line. Have enough slack in the system to allow that to happen, but then as it bounces and starts heading down the hill, make sure the rope will stop it. And that's basically done just by locking the rope off at a place where the, the running end is going to reach the ground. A little rope will come out of the system as it takes a little rope to tie the piece off, tie the knot and such, and then a little rope will come into the system. As it, it gets loaded, it'll have some stretch to it. So this one was set just about perfectly. Let's take a look at it. exactly what happened here. This is our line. Keep this baby from hitting the house. And it worked like a charm. The necessity is the mother of invention. I definitely didn't want that piece bouncing and hitting the house. You can see this is where it hit, right on the hill here. And when a piece hits on a hill, it's going to fly downhill. And it's going through, and our control line here is what stopped it. 